The first section that we are going to look at in the admin console is the users section. You can access the users section by simply clicking users from the home screen or from your main menu, which is located in the top left hand corner. Simply click on the three lines and select users. Once your list populates, it will show all of the users that are associated with your organizations on the left hand side. You can create new organizations or sub organizations. For example, Chrome OS training, that is an organization that I created. If I want to add sub organizations, you can see those by simply clicking on the icon to the left and it shows all of my sub organizations affiliated with that organization. This is very beneficial for businesses. For example, their organization name can be their company name and they can have sub organizations that reflect the different sectors of their company, such as HR, finance, and accounting, just to name a few. Any changes that you make in a sub organization, for example, CB meetings, will not affect the other sub organizations that I have, only the users that are within that sub organization. Let's look at the sub organization Dixon's UK training. Once I click on that, it will show me all of the users associated to that sub organization. I currently only have one, but if I do want to create more, I have that option with the add user button in the bottom right hand corner. From this screen, the main menu button, I have the option of resetting the password, renaming this user, deleting or suspending the user, and also emailing the user. If I actually click on the user, I have those same options up here. I can also move them to a different organization or to a different user group and I can see some vital information such as their email address and the last time that they logged in. If I click on any of these options below I have more features and more information that I can see. For example, in account. I can see the basic contact information for this individual, anything associated to their Google Plus profile, and also information about their passwords, cookies, and also their storage. The users section is how you can create new users and add them to your organization or sub-organization.